Stage 1 of Scrap Tire Processing will demonstrate how to take whole tires and reduce them down to a clean cut chip. Whole tires are fed into a CM shredder that contains a patented knife system that will cleanly cut the tire into pieces. The first pass through the shredder is called a rough shred. These pieces are long strips and will need to be cut further to be usable as end-use products, such as tire-derived aggregate, TDA, or tire-derived fuel, TDF, or used for further processing. The larger strips remain on top of the classifier and will fall onto a return conveyor that takes the material back to the shredder for another pass. The shreds will mix in with whole tires also being fed at the same time. In order to further reduce the tire, several passes through the shredder will be necessary. After each cut through the shredder, the CM classifier is used to separate the oversized material from the properly sized chips, as seen in this demonstration. The larger pieces stay on top, and the proper sized chips will fall through. The proper sized chips are discharged from the bottom of the classifier and conveyed away from the system. The material is now finished product and ready for resale or further processing. Properly sized chips can be sold as TDF to cement kilns, paper and pulp mills, and energy generating facilities to be mixed with coal or other fuels to provide significant cost savings. The second stage of tire processing is to cleanly separate the steel from the rubber using a CM liberator and steel reclaim system. Pre-shredded tires four to six inches in size are the feed stock for the CM Liberator. The Liberator does an exceptional job at ripping and pulling the steel out of the tire shred. The liberated material discharges to a vibrating conveyor to loosen the mix, then passes under a strong belt magnet which lifts the steel away from the rubber. The wire-free rubber is discharged and is now ready for resale. The size of this material ranges from 1 and 3 quarters down to minus 5 eighths of an inch. The rubber can now be dyed and used for mulch and playground cover. It can be used as TDF for pulp and paper mills, power plants and pyrolysis processes or can be sent downstream for further processing into smaller granulates. As the material passes under the belt magnet, the material will be further processed, separating the rubber from the steel using the CM steel reclaim system. The steel is conveyed to the long vibrating wire screen that will further agitate and separate the steel and rubber. The material will then pass under a second drum magnet and is discharged. The clean steel is ready for resale. Any steel that still has rubber attached will be sent back to the liberator to be processed again. This is what CM refers to as zero waste processing. This closed loop system ensures that all of the rubber and steel are cleanly separated. This high grade steel is a profitable revenue stream for the processor in addition to the rubber resale markets. Tire recyclers will maximize their profits and greatly reduce waste to landfill. Seen here, the steel is exceptionally clean and has less than 3 to 5 percent contaminant by weight. To reduce the crumb size and remove the nylon fiber, the clean wire-free rubber that is produced in stage 2 is now ready to be made into granulated crumb rubber ranging from 1 to 8 millimeters. Here the rubber is being fed to the CM granulator. As seen here, the rubber is now further reduced in size and is discharged onto a vibratory fiber removal screen that will agitate and screen the rubber and capture the nylon fiber. The granulated rubber falls through the screen while the fiber remains on top, creating balls of fluff that is found in passenger car, light truck and SUV tires. Located throughout the granulation line are a series of powerful vacuums, such as this one. 
There are pickup points located throughout the system to remove the fluff from the granulation line. The vacuums extract and pull the fluff balls up into the ductwork and away from the clean rubber. The rubber is screened for size and passes under a magnet to remove any fraction of steel that may still be in the rubber. The fiber and other inert materials that are removed using the vacuums are discharged outside the building via ductwork out to the dust collection system. These two systems are designed to pull the fiber through the ductwork and out to these industrial filters to capture the fluff for disposal. As seen here, the fluff is removed from the process. At the end of stage three, this system produces clean crumb that can be used in field turf and pour in place applications, or can be sent downstream to be made into fine rubber powders. The fourth stage of processing is to mill the crumb and to screen for the sizes needed to meet your market demand. As seen here, this 3 8 minus rubber granulin can be milled down to minus 20 to 80 mesh fine rubber powders. Utilizing a CM dual drive cracker mill, the granulated rubber is cracked or milled between two serrated hardened rolls. The rolls are positioned very close together to achieve the cracking of the rubber. Heat is generated during this process, so a chiller is utilized to dissipate heat to keep the machine cool. The cracked rubber is now powder and is screened through this gyrating screen system that can have one or more varied size screen decks within. Each level of screen sieves for different mesh size of rubber powders as determined by the processor and the end use markets that they serve. On the left, the last bit of fiber is removed and on the right, the finished powder is dispensing into a super sack and is ready for market. This is 30 mesh rubber powder. At the end of stage four, the powder is free of all fiber and steel. Powders are used in rubberized asphalt or can be used to make molded products such as automotive parts, pour in place surfacing, rubber lumber, and rubber mats, which are just a few of the many products made from recycled tires. This sea of super sacks will be shipped to different manufacturers and will be used to make a wide variety of new rubber products.